Hello, amigos, for Chan Amigo here, and welcome back to Let's Play Crush Bundacoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Now we're going to be fighting Rocco and Crunch in the next level. Well, well, looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. Finally. I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. We're out of luck, dude, because Crash Bandicoot doesn't have a neck. His head's attached to his body. With no neck there, so... Yeah, um, you might want to look back on your facts before you try and threaten me. Because, well, I'm not scared at all. This boss is, uh, kind of annoying in the sense with, like... With the fact that it's kind of curved. The, um, well, the flooring's all cur curved, but it's, like, it's one of those things where it's annoying that it's there, but you want it to be there because if the land was flat, then the boss battle would be really boring. So, it's just one of those things where it's good in a way, but it's also bad. Now, if Crash Bandicoot gets um, all of the rocks and turns them blue, then, like you saw earlier, they all go against um, Crunch and Rocco, and the asteroids, well, the rocks go down like asteroids and destroy the Rocco's defense, and then um, Aku Aku um, hurts Crunch once the defense is gone. But, um, obviously, if Crunch hits them, they turn into red rocks, and if you touch them while they're red rocks, you get burned. Now, um, if all three of them turn red, I don't think anything actually happens to Crash. You're just gonna either have to wait till the red goes, or just switch it straight away. Even though it might, it will deal damage, but it's quicker. I usually just do it anyway, but... Either way works, you know. Now, um, there, you get more rocks as you go on throughout the boss. And... You wanna um, make sure that none of them turn orange, otherwise you're practically screwed for a while, because unless you don't mind hitting them but, um, while they're orange, then you're going to have to dodge them, and either way you're still going to get damaged unless you're really good at dodging them. So, yeah, this boss fight is uh, rather challenging, but overall it's not too bad. So, I don't mind this boss fight. It's, it's alright. Uh, yeah, um, for doing that, we get this new power-up called the Sneak Shoes. You hold down the L2 button, and Crash Bandicoot will start tiptoeing, and I'll show that off later throughout the LP, but... Yeah, it's a useful power-up every now and then. Anyway, cutscene! Cortex! When are you and that super weapon of yours going to put an end to that interfering Bandicoot? You are beginning to test my patience! Uh, uh, I'm working on a Duka Uka. Listen, Crash, you may have outsmarted Rocco, but there are three more elemental masks where he came from. And just as luck would have it, they are all significantly more powerful. Ha! I have no doubt that the water elemental, Wawa, will make sure you never see the light of day. Yeah, the water boy and I are gonna take you out. Ooh, I'm gonna rip you limb from limb. Oh yeah? Well, I'm going to pull your eyes out of your eye sockets, and I'm going to eat your intestines! So, suck on that. <laughs> now we got Jungle Rumble. Um, I don't know why I walked back out the portal, but okay. Crash Bandicoot! You've got some nerve setting foot into my domain without an invitation. Don't talk back to me! I'll fix that attitude problem of yours! But I wasn't talking back to you. I wasn't even talking at all. I'm a fucking silent protagonist. What the fuck? We're in jungle, um, jungle, jungle, ru ju jungle rumble, not jungle rollers. That was from Crash One. And um, this level is pretty cool. I like this level. Like I said, it's jungle rollers, except it doesn't have the rolling stones. It has its own gimmicks, which is awesome. And I really like this level. This has great atmosphere. And really high boxes that I don't know how to hit. There you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do really like this level. I really like the music, and it's it's really good. And I like the instruments used and everything. It's it's really good. 
I, I really like this level. Uh, the, I, sadly, I can't say that about the level after this. But I do like this level. This level's good. Um, I do like how you can hear monkeys in the background every now and then. I don't know if that's actually part of the soundtrack, but... You know, because you don't actually... I don't think you actually see any monkeys in this game. Or at least in this level. But, um... It might be part of the soundtrack. If it is, then that's pretty cool. If it's not, then... Oh well, it's still good addition. Uh, um, yeah, you want to watch out. There's some steel crates here, and you want to make sure you can body slam some of them. Otherwise, you'll miss them, and the monkeys will be laughing here in the end. You're like, <laughs> you didn't get the gem. And yeah, they don't actually do that in case you were actually like wondering. But it'd be pretty cool if they did. Um, yeah. Now, there's actually mushrooms are going along. I do like that as well, and I do like the fact that it's raining. I like the rain. Rain is cool. It's like how uh, it's kind of like I wouldn't really say flooded, but it kind of is in a way. Like the water's going up. Yeah, yeah practically it's flooded, but <laughs> the the water's going up to so, like crash his hips. Actually, I think there might have been a waterfall actually, like a bit going down, because I think I just saw it going down the edge of the side. So I don't know. It's it's, it's, it's quite actually cool just taking on the scenery here. The fact that I'm not playing the game and I'm watching it. The fact that I can see everything. So. I think that might have been leading down to a waterfall, which, that would be really cool. Uh, um, yeah, this is, isn't too bad of a stage. There's, um, I think this bit right here, you need to use the sneak shoes for. You hold down L2 for the sneak shoes, and it lets you walk across nitro crates without them sensing the fact that you're there. I don't know how that fucking works, but this is Crash Bandicoot, so no one cares. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, th this this is a um, fairly simple special stage, or bonus stage. This isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> In stores near you, Sonic the Bandicoot. But, um, I don't know how that game will turn out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that TNT will blow up that spring. So, that's all good. But, um, watching this back, I kind of wish I collected those one before now. <laughs> just a weird obsession that I just feel like pointing out. Um... Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I do like it how you can get quite a lot of lives in these special stages, or bonus stages. Uh, and they, they did stuff like that. I didn't really think, I, I don't think they did it as much in Crash 2, but they did stuff like that in the other Crash games, so and I'm glad they kept that. Now, you know, this Jeep section is good. Like, if you're just breezing through this section without getting the boxes, you know, it's really fun, but getting the boxes is a pain in the ass, and they don't like that. I was, uh, I want the, um, the, which color? Ah, uh, yeah, um, you see the, well, okay, you can't see them now, but they'll appear in a minute, the, um, rhinos, and uh, there's two baby rhinos at the sides, if you have the GameCube version of that, they're blue for some reason, and I have no idea why, they, they're not, they're not even, like, you know, just slightly off blue, they're just completely blue out frigging nowhere. I don't even care why. It's like the colour of the elemental mask, basically. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even get why. M maybe there was supposed to be water rhinos. They felt like going against the rules, like, fuck this, I don't want to be a rhino when I'm older. I want to be an elemental mask or some shit like that. Either way, I don't really get it, but... It's... it's that's what happens if you have the GameCube version. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably just a graphical error, to be honest, but... Either way, next up is Seashell Shenanigans. Fuck this level. I hate this level. You know how um, in Crash 3 how I said, Oh, the water levels aren't that bad, I enjoy them. This is the complete opposite. It's like getting those water levels then like shitting on them, putting them in the toilet, and then doing some stupid thing. I can't explain it very well, but they're just bad. Like, they, 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 I don't, I think it's mainly the stupid mines that fall down, but also random stuff just pops in or to the side of the screen, and th th there's so many things that just spew out from the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen, depending on which side you're Go swimming towards, but it's just so annoying, and I don't 
get why they do it. It's like, in Crash 3, most of the stuff were going up and down, so you could see that they were there clearer, and you'd know how to dodge them, unless, obviously, you know, you just had some bad luck and you just hit, hit into them, you know? It had a fair challenge, except for the eels. The eels were a bit of a pain in the ass first time, first time round. But, um... And maybe the spire, the turbine things, because yeah, for only the first time though, because you don't actually expect them to come. Unless you clearly see them before getting to that part. With this, almost everything, everything except for the, um, the, uh, the, the diver that, um, is tangled by a rope, um, going downwards. Uh, I'll probably point him out in a minute, if he comes up in that, anyway. He's like the only one that doesn't kill you in a cheap way. Everything else does, except maybe except for the jellyfish, but they have horrible hit detection, so I don't really want them to count, so... You know? But this level's just horrible. I just hate this level, like... The atmosphere and everything is really great. The music is okay, I'd rather have some more atmospheric music. Actually, no, 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 it is atmospheric, okay, screw it, I just said that. But. Yeah, and as you can see, I really hate the submarine. <laughs> I tried going back. <laughs> and I get how the um, background is like, it shows more um, within a level, so it looks like you're actually like underwater and there's actually so much stuff around you. You know, I, it's just, it makes it feel like um, the level that you're in is so big, which is very awesome. Except for the fact that it makes it feel like the level's ten times longer than it already is. So it's awesome. But it would be a lot better than awesome if it, the level was actually good. So yeah, this level sucks. <laughs> Even if you like this game, you have to admit that this level sucks. If you like it, then tell me, but that and tell me why. But this level sucks in my opinion. Like, it's, 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 this level's just awful. I don't enjoy playing these levels at all. I don't look forward to playing them whenever I play through this game. Whenever I think of Wrath of Cortex, I think of this level and H2O No, which is another one that comes up later on. Especially H2O No, because that one, if you do 100%, you're gonna have to play that level about three times. Which is a fucking pain. I hate it! But yeah, that was really close. But yeah. Oh, I do remember here uh, I do get a little stuck, and I forgot to edit it out, so I'm gonna edit that now, so I'll see you back in a minute, guys. Oh, actually. Yeah, this is the bit where I got stuck. Okay, now I'm gonna see you back in a minute. Okay, we're back. If you're wondering what happened, basically I was searching around for ages, figuring out what I had to do, and then I realised I destroyed the wrong thing at the wrong time, so I just thought I'd cut that out just to... To just to make sure you guys don't go as insane as I did when I played this level. But yeah, two extra lives there. You're gonna need it! For a level like this. But yeah, this bit's pretty cool. I do like this. But they kind of had that in Crash 3. So, I don't really care about it in this game. <laughs> nah, I do care about it, but... They had it in Crash 3, so it's not as great. But to be honest, it wasn't as great in Crash 3 anyway. But that's... I'm just picking out random stuff now, because I... This level's almost over, that's the best part, yeah? Just think about that, the level's almost over! 50 life, that's awesome. Let's just keep going and going and going. As you can see, while I'm in these submarines, I spam the square button a lot, because random shit pops up in front of you, and it's fucking annoying. I don't like it. I don't like this level. Fuck this level. We're ending it here. Bye, guys!